I just so so as you think about it, just a question from from Guy um, Bunning on on his talk this morning. I misinterpreted perhaps the structure of this uh, core species interacting by themselves, and then the that that kind of structure as uh, indicating a modular structure, then I ask you about uh, mutualistic networks and the structure of nestedness that is uh, often pointed out in the network. And uh, maybe you can comment about this? Uh, yes, so, um, right. So usually nestedness, as you're saying, is something that's between two different groups, so you even, you know, could be resources in, in, in species or different spe or species in, in, you know, on the bipartite graph, like uh, uh, pollinators and, and, um, and flowers and so on. Uh, and, but, but in terms of structure, if you put it in a matrix, there's um, sort of anti-diagonal or the, 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 I can even draw it somehow. Anyway, so, so there's a sort of this, triangular structure where you have most of the of the let's say large numbers in insane interaction or whatever it is you're drawing so that's nestedness right there's a um, right uh, if, if you if you've seen these these structures then then yes. that there's this top diagonal thing so so we're seeing something similar that if you order the matrix by the what we call success which is the abundance relative to growing alone then the stronger interactions are, or, or the weakest interactions are at the low bottom, bottom right of the matrix. And there's a gradual uh, change of the, uh, of the interaction strength. So there's a bias running throughout the system, throughout the, uh, throughout the matrix. Uh, usually, uh, in many cases, nestedness is, is drawn for binary variables. And so then there's a very clear thing. Here, it's more hiding under uh, something that's very disordered. There's a lot of quote unquote noise in this matrix, so it's hard to see, but, but the shift is there. Okay, so it's, it's a shift of, of decreasing competition along the, towards the bottom uh, left corner of, of this matrix. Okay. And, and modularity is, is usually is described, or, or if you have block structure, then it's, you know, these clear, clear uh, blocks, and, and we have none of that here. It really gradually uh, changes across the system. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the clarification. Um, do we have any comments or questions? Uh... I have a question for Guy, actually. Uh, okay. I'm sorry if I missed this, but is there something we can say about, um, in terms of initial conditions go, the, the range of distributions that have that core structure I mean, is there a range of distributions that will recreate the same equilibrium? Sorry, distributions of what? The, the, the initial interactions that you start right. with. Is right. there something you could say about those more in, in a more general fashion? Well, for any, I think the idea is that the assembly is a filter, right? So for any initial input of uh, a distribution of interaction strengths, you would sort of bias that, that distribution. Um, and, and you bias it overall, if you're just, if you just look at the distribution and you don't care about the structure within this matrix, you just, you know, just pull all the numbers from that matrix. You see that the distribution is shifted, perhaps not surprisingly towards uh, lower competition. Okay, and we can, I, I can even tell you exactly analytically how, it, how it's done. I mean, what, what's the shift? Um, the idea is that, you know, naturally things that, that um, receive less competition are more likely to survive and, and coexist. And that's what you see uh, enhanced in your matrix, lower competition values. Wait, uh, so you're speaking of like the fine ones that's equilibrated, correct? Because I, I guess what I'm alluding to is more so um, what are the set of initial conditions that will allow us to reach the same equilibrium so, so are you, we're fixing the interactions now and we're looking at dynamics. Is that what you're talking about? Or, or are we, are you somehow looking at a, some ensemble of, of interactions? Uh, some ensemble of interactions. So, so the dynamics are the same, but the question is um, within 
which range of this species space, space of abundances can we initialize our system such that we arrive to the same equilibrium? So, so, so if you're talking about dynamics and, and whether you're reaching the same equilibrium, that depends on the properties of this matrix of interactions, right? Right, right, right exactly. Right, so, so in that matrix of interactions, the, the, uh, the important, uh, there's a parameter, which I call the variability, which is some, re, you know, some uh, rescaled combination of the variance divided by something that has to do with the mean. And once that variability uh, crosses some critical threshold, uh, then you start getting multiple alternative stable states uh, in your in your dynamics, and then you're the, you have you know historical contingency and so on. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other uh, general comment or question? So. Okay, maybe if uh, I don't see anybody, otherwise just unmute yourself and protest. Um, then I'm going to, uh, in the name of uh, all co-organizers, uh, thank you all for uh, participating, sticking around, presenting some uh, wonderful sets of talks. And I, I would emphasize that uh, most of our speakers are young, uh, at least much younger than some organizers. And that is really exciting. I think this is a very exciting area uh, that is making tremendous, uh, tremendous theoretical and empirical progress. Um, and we saw some of that here. It, it also raises a lot of questions that we cannot pursue, uh, unfortunately, on Zoom in the nice setting of the uh, there, the, Adri the Adriatic and the ICTP, and, and continue uh, exploring perhaps how to formulate these questions. But hopefully, there can be a a follow up and I, and I would say we heard uh, we heard about very interesting experiments very interesting empirical analysis all the way from microbes to to trees and and uh, uh, very uh, inter interesting theoretical approaches that involve limits and then um, uh, sort of involve different representations whether uh, some with traits some more generalized to avoid mechanisms and, uh, and I think like the, the connection between those generalizations and, uh, and those different results uh, would be interesting. Uh, the question of, of course, speciation and how we relate uh, intra and inter, I was very fascinated by seeing some microbial systems in which uh, the, the main interactions that matter seem to be at the strain level. So perhaps that boundary on, on the species matters less. Um, again, this brings us back to traits. And then we had this wonderful discussion about, uh, um, well, the connection between the pool of species or pool of traits and, uh, and a little bit of uh, how do we connect eco-evolution to the question of the pool. I think ultimately that will be a very, a very uh, fruitful direction, but we uh, then we heard about uh, uh, fascinating null models because in the end, uh, uh, yes, I mean, this, uh, for example, the random zoo gives us a much, uh, much more interesting null model than where, where, where we were before. So anyhow, I, I, I learned a lot and I think there are a lot of connections between the talks that I hope uh, some of you will take forward in the future. So uh, thank you again, Jacopo, Matteo, and uh, of course, uh, uh, all the participants and also Silvia. Jacopo. Thank you, Mercedes. Thank you, Mercedes. Thanks a lot to everyone, to all the speakers and the participants. I think it was a great uh, success. And um, well, I hope that uh, the next one is going to be live uh, and uh, we're going to be able to enjoy Trieste and uh, the physical presence of uh, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Presenting and participating and interacting so nicely. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.